What's up guys, we're gonna dive into some online head-to-head -to, -head to teach the basics of how to read the shallow cross concept. There's a lot of different ways to run it, but I'm gonna show you how I like to run it, how we ran it for some of the teams that I played with in the NFL, and your key indicators, what to read, how to read it, and everything in between. Let's dive in. A lot of times, the shallow cross concept is paired with a post on the outside. So this would be like dice right clamp, stack, rejet, X shallow cross. So this squirrel route on the backside will be our last read, but we wanna read the outside linebacker on the right as long as he is not blitzing. If he is blitzing, then we're gonna read the next backer over. We're not worried about the post because it's one high. We're gonna drop back, we got the crosser. It's fine, put it out in front of him. Put it out in front of him. You're telling me 50, who's that, 27? You're telling me he's running with Christian Watson? No shot. So the other thing you can start doing with this if they're going one high, which we do in regular football, is you can start tagging out routes to that post because he's really just a pre-snap read. So we have no flat control over here, but we also have no flat defender. If the guy on the edge of the ball, if he buzzes out, then we don't have the out, but we should have the shallow. If he stays there, we should have the out. We got it money and get back on the ball. I also like doing this with some motions. We'll put X on a seam, knowing that we might be able to hit it versus a cover three safety. We're gonna motion this shallow down. It won't let me snap it on the run, it is what it is. Here we go. Got him. Shallow cross, go to concept. The next thing we can do with the shallow cross, we're gonna give A an out route to the six. So to do that, you do Y, A, out, which is left on the D-pad. And then you do Y, A, right bumper. That makes it a smart route going to the sticks. So I don't think we're gonna get a flat defender because he's not adjusting coverages, but we're still gonna read it the same way. Got the shallow again. Like, it's a good zone beater. And I mean, I'm running the same play over and over and over again. We'll go into PA wide receiver in two, which is a shallow cross type of play. Oh, I like this. This version of shallow cross, you're basically going to read the backside defender, the backer that's playing the hook, going to high low off of A and X. But with this look, we're going to look at the middle safety and we're going to see, does he shade to the left at all? If he does, we're going to try to rip this post to B. We're also going to see what the flat defender on the far right side does with the wheel. So it's going to go B to RB. Then we're going to find the backside hook defender. Oh my God, Jordan, that release is so slow. Cover three, we're gonna do this a little bit differently again. We're gonna run this with a shh, just a regular pearl from Kraft, and we're gonna have seams off of this to see if we can get that safety to move one way or the other. The other thing I like to do with this concept is to get my running back out, so we're running an empty version of shallow. Get him to the flat right now, knowing they have a hard time covering the flats. We might have to, we might have him right now. Gotta lead your receiver. That's fine. All right, now they've been seeing us running that shallow with Christian Watson this whole game. Now we're gonna hit him with the mix up. We're gonna have a flood concept to the left with the running back sneaking out, but we're also gonna have Kraft on the right side on the flat. We're gonna be willing to take Kraft on third and 10, knowing we're in a position to go for it, where we're around the 40. So we're gonna go A to wide RB. Got him. I love it. Give me a running back on a linebacker all day long. Now give me Aaron Jones on a hook route over the ball, and we're going to let that shallow cross clear out. We're going to peak Y and see if we get him to win, but if not, we're going to go A to X to RB. Oh my God, I tried to get Aaron Jones to run to the right. We're going to run this again. Here we go. Watch how he crosses him. The way he's playing this, we should have Aaron Jones wide open for a touchdown, but we will peak B to see if we get him right now. Give me a Romeo Dobbs out route to the sticks. We're going to see yes, no there. If not, we're going to go A to X to RB. Got him. Let's go. Keep feeding your solos, man. Keep feeding your solos. All right, we're going to do the shallow cross again, and I think we're going to have the running back out of the backfield to the right. How annoyed is this kid that I'm just dotting him up right now. He's staying in this one high look. Give me Christian Watson. Front pylon out route. This is a Peyton Manning special. Also, give me a double out route though with A. So we're going to go A to B, to RB. Keep, give me some field awareness, man. Come on, Madden. All right, shallow cross. It's the whole concept of this game is shallow cross. We're going to milk this shallow cross. Pause. I have nipples, Greg. Could you milk me? Here we go. Now look, they're giving us press man backside to Wicks. Give me the one-on-one -on -one go ball if he decides he wants that action. If not, watch this. Three, two, one, snap it. What is Jordan doing? What is Jordan doing? 
That's so wild. Did you see his drop in the backfield? Did you see his drop? What was that, like a reverse sideways? A shallow cross. Some of my coaches would say it's the only play you need to run. We're going to have a block and release cross by the tight end on the right. We're going to have a free release swing on the left, and we're going to go B to X to A. Got him. Let's go. Even a bad route. That's supposed to be a, a bang post. Still a touchdown. I like that. I love skinny pose versus cover three. Shallow cross has the answers for everything if you know the right tags. So mesh is another form of shallow cross where instead of having a hook over the middle, you're going to have two guys that are meshing across. A lot of teams run it. Most teams in the NFL run it. And we're going to dress it up a little bit. So we're going to read this. All the flow is going left. So we're going to find the hook defender on the left side. Typically the guy right next to the mic. That's bullshit. Come on, man. Let's try this again. We're going to slide the line left since he likes blitzing to the left side. We're also going to get Aaron Jones out here into the route concept because this kid's annoying. So we're going to have an out route to a corner route. We're going to give this corner route a little more depth, though. Got him. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. So when you think of the shallow cross concept and then you think of the mesh concept and then like slot cross, the whole premise of it is that you have a hook defender on one side of the field that you're trying to high low, but you also have yes nos on the outside. And those yes nos can be posts, they can be corners, they can be out routes. It all depends on the split of the X receiver. So take your yes no if you have it. And if not, just find your hook defender. And then if he's playing in between, find your check down. And you pretty much can never be wrong running shallow cross that way. All right, so we've talked about mesh. We've talked about shallow cross. Now we're gonna get Get into the next one give me some slot crosses give me a little bit of a deeper action here that is trying to influence a little bit deeper typically run off a play fake sometimes six seven man pro so what are we going to do here tight end we're going to motion them out we're going to get and run a hitch we're trying to get a hook defender to pull so we can rip it across the read over top we got the hook defender we got him see how we got him to pull perfect once you start knowing like which defender you're trying to influence dude this game gets so much more fun. All right, now look. Now we're gonna try to do it this way. We're gonna try to influence the hook defender with Aaron Jones to rip the same guy over top when I'm on a regular hitch. And then if we feel the hook defender attached and then the next defender, who also is probably a hook defender, stays with the Y, then we got X in the back window. Look, he goes and takes RB. Now we got X. Like, dude, I'm telling you, all you have to know is that in each cover, we'll be seeing you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be seeing you. All you got to know is that in each coverage, you have a specific guy that's responsible for a specific zone. You don't even have to know which guy is going to be in that zone. You just have to know where the zones are. Somebody will find their way there unless they're blitzing. And then you just go, does he take it away? Yes or no? No. Cool. Take it. Does he? Okay. Move to the next one. Does the next guy take it in the next zone? Yes. Cool. Then move to the next read. So you're not even like looking at players. You're looking at spots on the field and that tells you everything you need to know.